This is a simple stretch with very few complications. The room is connected to the top stair here, which we will disengage to stretch. But otherwise, this is a dream room to be able to stretch. No vents in the floor, no connected closet. Everything is very simple about this room. So we begin by disengaging at the first crotch in the stair and around the entire door frame there to be able to manipulate the carpet, stretch it toward that door frame that you see on the right of the screen. And we're going to trim and tuck so that we get proper. But first step is to disengage, which is what we're doing now. Okay, so we're pulling the carpet off of the pins right around that door frame there. And, and the purpose of this is so that the carpet will move so that you can manipulate it. Now what I've done there is I have manipulated it toward and measured how much I'm going to be able to trim off of that. Then I perform the trim and we'll go ahead and stretch it back in, manipulate it over and set the pins. And now we're going to begin to set at the crotch. So we turn the kicker upside down, put some weight on it. We go ahead and just make sure that that's completely tight through there. And now, of course, I'm tucking around the door frame and this is the first step in this particular stretch because we're going to manipulate the carpet in that direction later on that is the direction that we manipulate it outside the door as well as inside the door if you don't do that you will run into a buckle that you have to fix by manipulating one side of the door one way and the other side the other way. So be very careful about that. Now here we see that we still are having an apparent ripple right here and that's okay because when we begin to power stretch the other side of that door that is going to be manipulated out and then we will probably wind up doing one more knee kick stretch outside the door 
We also can just use the head and the foot in some situations. Now in this particular case, we are going to stretch away from the door in the room first. The doorway to the stairs is the only obstacle present in this particular stretch. Okay, now notice the angle here. What you obviously want to do is to make sure that you have about a 15 degree angle on your first stretch toward the corner. You want to manipulate it 15 degrees toward the corner, but in your second stretch, and thereafter, you really do want to make that 15 degrees away from the corner that you just trimmed and tucked. Also very important, once you manipulate the carpet the first stretch toward the corner, right now we are tucking all along the edge where that carpet has moved. This sets the pins to make sure that that carpet is not going to move back when you release the tension on the power stretcher head. Okay, now that he has tucked all along the wall, we begin to trim the excess carpet off that we have manipulated toward that end of the room. Once it's trimmed and tucked, he releases the t tension, moves the pole, and manipulates again, putting pressure on the lever of the power stretcher head. And we continue across the room in this fashion, pulling the entire room, 
manipulating the carpet toward the do the window. These are trim pieces. Now you can see the scraps that we had cut off there have a nice, clean, professional edge here. Nice, professional edge. And the room is already starting to shape up. So now we are getting the poles and we're going to begin stretching and the same way that we stretched outside the doorway that in that stair. room. Okay, so now we are just going to take this the other way. The pins are set along the wall behind me there. And we are manipulating the carpet toward the other side of the room right now what he's doing is he's tucking that in where we pulled that off the pins manipulated it forward and now he's tucking all of that setting the pins to make sure that that carpet is not going to move again once he has that tension set on that power stretcher head and he trims and tucks and then releases the tension and you've got a proper stretch in that corner. As you can see, he's moving along, keeping a good angle on this, always stretching 15 degree angle toward the direction that he'd already stretched the carpet away from the doorway. We're continuing through the room now. Now, as you can see, we bring a five gallon bucket in with us for a trash bucket. It works very well, it keeps the job site clean. It's part of being a professional.
keeping it nice and clean. Always check the rooms, any adjacent closet for any tools before you shut the door. Take the tools to the outside door. And if you don't take them all the way to the truck, make sure you don't leave anything behind. Now, see, I'm doing the stretch test right there in that corner. And as you can see, I'm grabbing the kicker. It did not pass the test. So what I'm doing here is I'm just going to tighten up with a good knee kick, which is your assist tool. I'm just going to tighten that up a little bit through there, manipulate that just a little bit, make sure that we're going to pass the stretch test in all areas. Very, very important to check your work. All the way through this, you must be doing the stretch test to make sure your work is performing the way it needs to. Now we're going to continue across the wall here. And even in a simple stretch like this, you're going to have areas that are going to give you slight problems. So as you can see here, I'm not happy with this corner. And so while he continues to work on through the room, I am going to continue to manipulate this area outside the door at the top of the stair and getting this exactly where it needs to be for the job to be complete. And again, we use the stretch test. We're always checking our work, making sure. Now, this is a really good shot of trimming off the excess carpet and how we're actually using the power head to manipulate the carpet onto the pins and tuck it behind the baseboard, underneath the baseboard.
We always want to do a stretch test all the way through the job. This is a good example of one that's passing. Okay, now what we're doing is we've identified a couple of spots after a post-stretch inspection that we need to just barely manipulate back onto the pins. Occasionally when you are stretching, you are going to pull it off the pins if you haven't set it properly. So this is just a little bit of a professional cleanup to make sure that the little gaps that you see there underneath the light socket we're just going to manipulate that carpet over there, um, make sure that uh, it's right up next to the baseboard through the whole room. Again, the stretch test. And yet another stretch test at the end of the job.